if you use an alias domain when you configure a workspace domain name for your domain name inside your account, well, you can actually choose to basically send emails from that alias domain and the alias domain effectively doesn't cost you an extra mailbox. And that's because when you configure an alias domain, it's just basically an extra copy. So Anonymous asks, can I use my email aliases without paying for any emails on the secondary domains? I wanna move all emails into one mailbox from other domains. Okay, well, this is a great question and we talk a lot about aliases on the channel because we talk about how you can manage multiple brands or how you can manage multiple domain names, how you can manage multiple businesses even, potentially in the same Google Workspace account. And if you use an alias domain when you configure a Workspace domain name for your domain name inside your account, well, you can actually choose to basically send emails from that alias domain and the alias domain effectively doesn't cost you an extra mailbox. And that's because when you configure an alias domain, it's just basically an extra copy. Now, the easiest way to conceptualize this is to think about each mailbox as a bucket of email. And you pay for each bucket of email that you have in your Workspace account. Now, there's some exceptions to that rule. If you've got like a distribution group, which is a group of emails or a group email going to multiple people, or if you've got a admin account that is giving you access to the admin panel, but not giving a mailbox to that email address. Basically, you've set up just a, a user identity without a mailbox. You don't pay for those. But for each bucket of email you pay for, you pay for one user account. Now, We've got many videos on the channel about choosing between alias domains versus add-on domains. Just search multiple domains and you'll find there's five or six videos on the channel about that already. But in this specific case, if you have multiple buckets of email and you have an alias domain pointing to one of those buckets, you only pay per bucket of email that you have set up. And for most businesses, that's gonna be one bucket per human in the business. You may set up an extra bucket for a shared mailbox like info at your company or sales at your company. But for the most part, you're roughly gonna be equivalent one bucket per human in the business. Now, if you have an alias domain, you can have multiple email addresses coming into that bucket. And so in our case, we've got itgenius.com, which is our primary domain, but some customers still email us on our old domain, which was itgenius.com.au. And they basically all come into each bucket for each one of our staff members, and they come into the same place. Now, if I wanna send an email from my mailbox, I can actually choose which alias I send it from. I can actually send from either one of those domain names if I wish, and that's gonna let me use multiple email addresses for my outgoing mail, but any of my incoming mail is still just gonna come into the one bucket. That's how alias domains work. Now, I don't have to pay extra dollars for the additional domains that I've added. I just have to pay per bucket of email inside my company. There are some limitations and some drawbacks to setting up your account like this. Let's say if I wanted to send a calendar event, I can only send that from the primary email address and the primary domain name that is linked to my mailbox or my bucket of mail. But for sending an email out of my Gmail inbox, I can choose where I send it from. For signing into Google, I can only use the primary email address and the primary email domain. So if you'd like some help navigating between setting up multiple domain names in a Google Workspace account, click on the link down below this video you can organize a free consultation with our technical team. Or if you know what you want already, you can go and buy a concierge subscription package or a quick fix from our website and get access to our tech team to help you out today. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.